Inscription Casey's mod incorporates a lot of changes from the Leshy's Cabin portion of Inscription, including many buffs and nerfs to various cards and sigils and even some events. We're going to look at all of the major buffs and nerfs to cards and other stuff uh, in this video. So, starting off right when Casey's mod came out, um, one big change was that a new sigil was added called Made of Stone that was given to both the moon as well as the boulder card. Now, Made of Stone prevents cards with it from being affected by the Stinky or Touch of Death sigils. Of course, the whole purpose of this new sigil was to make it so that you can't beat the moon as easily as just hitting it with an adder or having a skunk on your field or something like that. Later on, in version 0.2 of Casey's mod, one of the new cards, the Mud Turtle, was added to the Reptile Tribe. Later on in version 0.22, Pelt Lice was added to the Insect Tribe. Again, same sort of uh, deal with the Mud Turtle here. In version 0.23, after new items had been added to Casey's mod, a change was made to the Pack Rat as it was able to give you the items, the new items, before you had actually unlocked them via the oil painting. But as of version 0.23, uh, this is no longer the case, and Pack Rat can only give you the items that you unlock. This isn't like a crazy nerf or anything, really, because as soon as you unlock the items, now Pack Rat can give them to you, so just a small little thing there. Also, at version 0.24 of Casey's mod, the cave event on the map uh, was changed so that the Trial of Kin could be completed with just two copies of the same exact card, even if they are not part of a tribe. In version 0.26 of Casey's mod, a huge buff was given to the Beaver card, not only giving it one additional health, now it has four health instead of three, but also any extra sigils that you add to the Beaver will also be added to the dams when the Beaver card is played, making for quite a few interesting plays that you can make with the Beaver. This one right here I like to call the Beaver because it's got the Beehive sigil and so do the dams. Another great uh, thing you can do here is sacrifice like a magpie and put its sigils onto the uh, beaver and that way whenever you summon it you get to search three cards instead of just one with the magpie's eye sigil which is pretty good. And a lot of other cool things you can do with the beaver now so quite a huge buff there. Also at version 0.26 another change made was to the raccoon card. The raccoon was a uh, three bone cost card, but as of version 0.26, that was changed so that it costs one blood to summon it instead. Now, I think the reason for this is because Raccoon's sigil, the scavenger sigil, the whole purpose of it is to help you generate bones, and honestly, it doesn't even generate a whole lot like super quickly. So, for him to cost three bones in the first place, it, it didn't really make a whole lot of sense. So, definitely, uh, a decent change there. As of version 0.27, another huge change was made to the cave trial event. Now whenever you actually win the trial and are awarded a card with extra sigils, it has two extra sigils instead of just one. So all of the options will have now two random additional sigils on them, which can be really good honestly. It has higher chances of having a really good sigil, however there are also some times where some sigils don't work very well together, right? You'll have like a combination of really weird sigils that that don't really help, like Waterborne with like the, the Beehive sigil or something like that. That being said, it definitely makes the Cave Trial event a lot more worth uh, actually trying to complete as opposed to just trying to throw it so that you don't have to add another card to your deck. As of also version 0.27, there's quite a few changes here. The Alpha uh, was changed from costing five bones to summon it to now just costing four bones making him a bit easier to summon however I will note going back to the cave trial event thing one of the trials at the cave is to pull cards that have a total cost of five bones and when you have a card that is exactly five bone cost it makes that a lot easier now that the alpha is four bones it might make it a little hard to do that specific trial but that's just a really small thing. Overall, I would say that this is more of a buff to the alpha, if anything, uh, making it a bit easier to summon. Still in version 0.27 of Casey's mod, the douse was added to the Hooved tribe. 
Uh, also, the I guess the last change here in version 0.27 was that Pelt Lice was changed once again. This time it was given a sigil, the Double Strike sigil, uh, originally put on the uh, Dire Wolf. So now Pelt Lice attacks twice. As you can see, this is a perfectly normal, average, everyday, uh, normal Pelt Lice. And there's nothing weird about it or suspicious at all. The Long Elk card was buffed so that whenever it moves at the end of your turn with its Sprinter sigil, uh, from the space that it moved, it places a Vertebrae card, which has zero attack, one health, and was a terrain card so that it couldn't be sacrificed. However, we'll get back to that as that card was changed again in the next update. But first, uh, finishing off with version 0.28, we have one of the biggest, probably the biggest nerf from Casey's mod, and that was to the Fecundity Sigil. It was nerfed so that the copied card doesn't also have the Fecundity Sigil when it's created in your hand. So when you summon something with Fecundity, you get a copy of it, but the new copy can't also make a copy because it doesn't have the Sigil. The final update in version 0.28 to a card or buff or nerf, whatever, is that the trader will no longer accept your pelts if you have pelt lice in your deck. So this is interesting, right? I don't know, you could consider this a buff or a nerf, it's up to you. But the idea here, I suspect, is that um, if you have Pelt Lice, you obviously want to also have Pelts so that you can play the card. So if you run into a trader space, then you lose all your Pelts and now your Pelt Lice becomes kind of useless. So this just makes it a bit easier to still play Pelt Lice, I guess. And finally, the most recent update of Casey's mod, version 0.29, had quite a few changes made as well. First of all, the Curious Egg slash Hydra had a huge buff here, so that whenever you buff the uh, Curious Egg itself with like the campfire or by giving it more sigils, these will now go on to the Hydra as well, as opposed to before where any changes made to the Curious Egg would not stack onto the Hydra. Now they do, which means you can make some really powerful uh, Hydras. Also in version 0.29, the Amalgam received uh, an interesting buff where it also counts as an ant. So if you have ant cards on the field as well as an Amalgam, all of your ant cards will gain an additional attack point for that Amalgam being on the field. However, the Amalgam itself doesn't actually change here. So as you can see in this uh, screenshot here, the Amalgam is on the field and it's giving an extra attack point to this flying ant. Also in version 0.29, the Vertebrae card uh, that was added in the previous update was changed so that it's no longer a terrain card. It is now sacrificable, uh, if that's a word. Sacrif <laughs> sacrificable, yes. You can sacrifice the Vertebrae card now. And the last uh, major buff or nerf, uh, also in version 0.29, is that that Fecundity nerf, the huge nerf to Fecundity, now also applies to the totem. So Fecundity is completely nerfed into the ground. It can't be doing any crazy infinite combos with that anymore. 